Oh, welcome back to uh, Darth Mod, Poland-Lithuania campaign. Um, if you remember, it was a turn end, and during the turn end, the um, Danes have decided to come out and attack us. Brave lads. Proud of them, instead of sitting there and just waiting for the time to disappear. This is excellent. So, um, uh, the thing that peeves me a little bit is that these are going to be involved in the action. As far as I'm concerned, they shouldn't even be there, and they've got a massively long range, 750. Um, these have only got 600, of course, but they totally outrange anything that I've got. Um, these have got 800, of course, but I mean, they're only cannon, so that's a problem for me. But anyhow, uh, what I want to point out to you is uh, that um, Empire Total War is pretty good. In fact, I think all of them are. All the total, what the later ones, Empire Total and, and beyond, are very good at placing your troops on the battle map in the same position they were on the campaign map. So, in other words, I'm going to be attacking along this face here. And the artillery are going to be coming off to the back of my right shoulder. Can you see that over there? So, in other words, on the battlefield, let's imagine this square at the bottom here is... Well, I know it's not a square, but they're squared corners. <laughs> this rectangle at the bottom here. Imagine that's the battlefield. And um, what's going to happen is um, I'll be given the option to line my men up along here. And my artillery will be coming on around about here. So if I was tempted, because it's going to be a square fort in the middle... If I were tempted to form up my men along here, my artillery would appear here all on their own, totally unsupported. Not the best position to be in, of course. So, Anyway, OK, uh, let's work it from there and see what, see what we come up with on the battle map. OK, the um, deployment phase is over, um, and... I've put my troops in a bunched position here in this corner where I expect my reinforcements to appear. I've got all my troops moving straight away. As soon as I'd done the deployment, I pressed pause and then instantly started to move my troops into position. Uh, that's basically because um, we're going to be made a mess of by these guns, I'm afraid. I can't know anything about that. He's simply going to make a mess of me. So, until I can start moving forward and repaying him. Uh, oh dear, it's not good. They're big guns, and I can't really do a darn thing about it. It looks like he's set up all the way across there, where he was expecting me to come on, all the way along that line there. Oh no, he's not there. Oh yes, he is. He's there, isn't he? So he's virtually across, uh, not quite the front. He's using that to support the centre of his line, isn't he, and allowing to extend his line. Uh, what I've done is come up in a bunched formation on this corner. Oh, I've decided that there's a place for my artillery to go, by the way. It's just up here. Oh, in fact, he's landed on it. Oh, huh, that's good, isn't it? I wanted him to come on this hillside here. In fact, they're going a bit too far now. So I want the guns on here, because that's a kind of hill just there. I'll work that one out. And the mortars, I'm going to put those behind my troops, say here somewhere. Um, and the guns, I want to be firing um, this kind of shot, the um, uh, shrapnel shot, so it fires over the heads of my own troops. <coughs> <coughs> That's the plan, anyway. OK, once the infantry get themselves into position, I'll start um, to align them a little bit better than they are at the moment. What's that? They're dragoons, eh? OK, well, I'll match your dragoons with my uh, winged hussars. I'm quite happy to do that, thank you very much, wherever they are. We're over here. Give them a diamond formation. And attack the dragoon. <coughs> OK. Quite happy to do that, no problem. Hope we can get there in time. Oh dear, those mortars are going to be making a terrible mess of my lads there. Right, come on. Good formation there. We should be able to murder him. A lot of men firing there. Rank after rank after rank after rank. They're only dragoons that he's throwing at me. So basically they've got no um, charge bonus. They should get absolutely slaughtered there. with a little bit of luck. Oh, these guns are in position, that's good news. Right, OK, let's get those unlimbered. Ready to start doing some damage. What on earth's happened here? 197. 105. I'm not even sure it's worth sending in my um, winged hussars into there, you know. Bit of a waste, I think. I don't even know where they are. They're still forming up, aren't they? What are they doing? They're walking. Oh, no, I'm not bothered with that. Let's, um get those back again. Too late for them to do anything now. Oh, the infantry's done all the work for you. Goodness me. Broken. They're only broken, though. Might be worth just getting the general to polish those off. 
Yeah, I think so. Okay. Come on, General, you've got a job to do there. Is he shattered yet? No, he's just broken. If he leaves the battlefield, then I don't mind. It's all over anyway. Still only broken. They did well, those dragoons, didn't they? Goodness me. Right, he's off the map now, so... Okay. Get my men where they were supposed to be. What's that? Damn! Where on earth are they going? That's ridiculous. It's supposed to be over here. That is ridiculous. Either they didn't obey the order or I didn't give the order properly. <laughs> I suspect it's the latter. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. Um, I think maybe we're just going to have to bring this line round because he's a long way away, isn't he, from these? Uh, okay, what's happening here now? Winter's arms. Right on the edge here, aren't we? I think maybe we bring these around. Like so. Okay. Might be worth running those around again as well. Right, these guns should be firing. This one here is in position. Let's unlimber that one and we'll have him with quick lime shells. And this stupid one. Right, okay. Might just unlimber him there actually, to be honest. Okay. Stop moving. Yep. Okay, give him some quick line shot and shells as well. Okay, so might be able to come around, we might be able to enfold his entire line, to be honest. Yeah. I think they're going to get in a pretty, pretty good position anyway, we don't want to do anything more. Right, okay, well, we should win a firefight. We've got the better quality troops. Um, don't want to leave the. Oh, I was going to say, don't want to leave those exposed, but they're not, are they? Ah, now we're going to have quite a lot coming this way. Don't we? Most of his army seems to be appearing from this side. I think we just step back, actually, there. Oh, we could be a little too exposed, overexposed on that side. Okay, we should be murdering him on this side. Might be worth just speeding that one up a bit, actually, and sending in the... Uh, the Zars. Just to sort of start rolling down that flank there. Okay, and over this side. It might be worth sending in the Hazars to help with that side as well, actually. Just put them over here so I can go charging into that side, I think. It's probably the best way. It looks like he's matching me square on at the moment, so it's not too bad. Okay, um, Right, well these Hazars can go all the way through. Yep. Then attack into that flank there. I think they should be able to engage, yes, and I think they are doing as well, so that's good news. Okay, so that should roll up that side when the occasion comes. Um, the Hazars over this side here, I could do with them being perhaps over here, ready to attack into that flank there. Otherwise, he's going to get a bit of an overlap on me on that side, isn't he? I don't know what these are doing. What are they? Mortars. <laughs> well, they're obviously out of range and they can't move. <laughs> He's got some mortars that are out of range. That's excellent, isn't it? Right. Okay, so let's have a look at the right hand bazaars first. These. Uh, no, not quite in position yet. But they will be shortly. Come on. They're going very slow. It seems slow anyway to me. Right, let's have a look at the others then while we're waiting for those to mess around. These are taking even longer. No, they're not taking longer, it's just they're further to go, that's all. Right, come on. It does seem awfully slow. It looks like I've got the whole thing on slow motion. Is this lagging a bit or what? No, I don't think so. Let's go. Okay. 
Right, now, as soon as we're in flanking position, we'll go into here. Okay, that's those sorted out now then. And these now really need to come around this side because they're going to be engaging against those instead. Right, let's uh, go and have a look at the other winged hussars. They should be in a position now to do some damage. Uh, yes, they are. So, these will go charging into there, provided he's not in square. No. Okay. So, it looks like he might just be able to turn in time there, doesn't it? But, oh well. Okay. Guys, yeah, I think it's all one, isn't it? Can't see any, any problems now. Um, I would just get the howitzers on ball and get them to fire at these guns at the back. And these as well. What are they? Oh, they're mortars. No, better off firing at the mortars if we can. Okay, I just don't want to be firing at the infantry when my, um, uh, you know, my horses are going in all over the place. Might be worth stepping these forward now, actually, otherwise we could extend our life. Oh, wow, look! Our boys are struggling. Wow, is he shattered there? Yes. Right, well, let's go in here then. These are the ones that are causing the damage, aren't they? I would expect, unless there's some mortar fire that's doing some work there. Not too sure. Can engage there? Oh, slightly forward, just to make sure they are doing. Okay, are they charging? Come on, charge, lads. Now, let's look at the other hussars then. Over this side, right? Okay, they seem to have made a mess all the way all the way around there, don't they? Let's um, go into the mortars then, clear those out of the way. What are they? <laughs> They're charging in, aren't they? Oh dear! <laughs> I don't know. Well, I have no idea why they're doing that. There are 11 out of 18 men left. We've got all their guns left, and they've decided to get close. <laughs> that close. They're obviously worried about time. I mean, it's a. I was going to say. I thought I'd set the battle limit to 20 minutes. I thought I'd altered it, but obviously I've forgotten to do that. Oh, right. Oh, so that means something's going to hide in here then, does it, forever? What's uh, what's he got in here? You can see that red blotch, can't you, on the bottom right map. There it is. There they are. It's these here, isn't it? Demi cannons. I wonder why he's so keen to go quickly then. Um, you thought, really, you'd have been happy to sort of stand off. Um... I think maybe he's come forward because I had the artillery advantage. That's probably what's happened there at the end of the day. Okay. Um, uh, right, let's all see what these guys are doing now. They don't seem to be doing anything. They're just standing around, aren't they? Okay, in against the militia. Might as well do something. And these over here. In against these, whatever they are. Eight inch mortars. Um, yeah, sending my hussars into a. Group of artillerymen. <laughs> oh dear. I don't think their pride would allow them to do that, would it really? Oh look, they're going charging off against those now, aren't they, as well? Oh dear, what a mess. Okay, fact. Let's call them all back. Have them over here instead. Okay. Oh, they've had it anyway. Surely this is it, isn't it? Is there anything left? can see anything that's solid. You know, red field with a white cross. Uh, no. Can't see anything solid at all. There can only be that one unit that's at the back here somewhere. Okay, this one. Uh, there. I think I'm just going to send my... Um, was it my left hand goons in there? I think it was, wasn't it? Let's send them in there. I think they're probably the nearest, aren't they? Okay, well let's get the general chasing somebody off. Might as well do something, isn't he? Oh, hang on. What's this? Right. Demi cannons. Okay, let's take out those demi cannons as well. Okay, so we've got the general chasing one of the units. Ah, now. Let's just make sure we take this one out as well. I think we're Right. 
Hope so. Okay, I think that's it, isn't it, folks? Uh, watching the end of this. Uh, General should go charging in against that uh, uh, artillery. I'm hoping he hasn't got time to unlimber. Where's the most of the artillery? Oh, they're down in, down in cannons, aren't they? They're not exactly light, light guns that you can move into the, you know, right into the heart of an action. Well, I don't see what's now extant, you know, what's still in existence. So, I can only think we're waiting for those hussars to reach this troop round here, wherever it's gone. Ah, there it is. Okay, well, I say there it is. There's the end of the battle. That'll do for me. Okay, I'll bring you back in when the uh, when the end of turn starts again. I don't know what's going to happen, to be honest, whether it'll go straight, to, straight on to the end of turn. Oh, no, it won't. It'll show me the battle results. Let's hope it does allow me to continue the turn, though. That's the main thing. Oh, hang on, it's coming on now. So remember, I, I saved the battle at the end of the last video, and I, I don't know what happens when you do that. 438 lost. I didn't do too well, did I, really? Um, hmm. 3,054 3, of him killed, though. So I shouldn't complain, should I? Uh, right, even the General's bodyguard got allocated some of them. Uh, Winged Azars. Oh, yes, very good. And... Did the artillery actually get anywhere? Yes, not bad. 78, 38. Howitzers were pretty disappointed, no. 14 and 8, so... Um, yeah. Okay, well, I, I think I'm fairly happy with the result like that. A heck of a lot better than it would have been if I'd have attacked him anyway, without even having my artillery there. Do you remember that's what happened on the last video? Um, that I'd siege the place, but I had to leave my artillery behind. Peace treaty. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, they've still got a sense of humour, haven't they, the Danes? <laughs> Okay. I think I entitled my last video Danish Bacon. <laughs> um, I don't know if uh, people understand that one, but it, we, we buy a lot of Danish bacon in our country. In fact, we've got a lot of New Zealand bacon now, to be fair, but mostly lamb, actually, from New Zealand. But anyway, successful mission. Excellent. Right, okay, that's just him in the uh, Persian town. That's all that is, I'm sure. Recruitment report, brilliant. Um, I've got my um, Jamaican light guns and also the um, uh, the sloop as well over there in Jamaica. And I've got some light guns. Over, no, not light guns. So what are they? 12 pounders, aren't they? Yeah. Um, over in India. So okay. I think I must have needed them over that side of India or something. Don't remember now. Ah, right. Okay. What's that in here then? Um. Right. Uh, I might as well just go around doing these to be honest. I don't know how many of them there are, but I always do a building phase anyway. And I've got so much money, I've still got 77,000 there, 77 and a half after doing that. Those two things. Oh, I must have just done that one. Hang on, which one did I miss then? I'm doing that one. Um, ah, right, okay, that's the one. Yeah, these are 2,250. Yeah, and uh, still I've got 7,500 in the park, so doing really well. This one. Where are you? There. Okay, um, this one. And this one. You can see why I don't normally do this uh, as part of the game, don't you? Oh, I don't think you can get any better than a Grand Opera House, can you? No, you can't. Um, I'm not going to bother with anything on there. Um, should have a great grand opera house. <laughs> right. Uh, that's that one. So next one is a seminary. That's the full size one. Can't get anything bigger than that, I don't think. No, it's Jesuit College that goes up to a seminary. Great Estates. So I'll have that one. And there's another Great Estates just below it. Yep, so I'll have this one. These are palatial estates I'm going for now, by the way. Um, this one. Another Great Estate. Come on. Okay, they all add to income, but all ensure that we don't get food crises. That's the main thing. We're running out of food in these provinces. Which one was that? I think it was that one, wasn't it? Just did that, yeah. So it's this one. Weaver's Cottage. And after Weaver's Cottage... Oh, it's only a tenanted farm, that. 
This is one of those backward countries that I took over right? <laughs> Back to Jesuit College. And Weaver's Cottage. I've got a load of these. Right. How many more? Right, okay, this is the last tranche, as we would say. Okay. I'm not even thinking about these, I'm simply updating things. And all these mines need doing as well, don't they, really? Ah, oh, so I want to just... I can't do I just did a boardy house, didn't I? Yep. Okay. Um, finally... Craft work. Oh, there it is, right, okay. Come on. Let's be having you. Right, okay. Ah, uh, that's where gay, gay women live, that, you know. Lesbian Avenue. <laughs> Let's be having you. Oh, it's an old joke. Not a very good one, actually. Natural causes. Right, who's left there? Right, okay. Uh, new town emerges. And for those that don't understand British humour, um, a policeman's phrase, typical phrase in this country, a bobby, we used to call him on the beat, um, you'd uh, say his typical phrase would be, Let's be having you. You know, let's be having you. Yeah. So, anyway. Having you sounds like having you, so anyway, that's about the extent of our British humour. <laughs> yeah, we do need a church school in there as well. And, um, uh, right, it's one of those crappy jokes. Well, it's probably Christmas cracker jokes. What's the other one? Um, oh, dentist appointment, 2.30, isn't it? Right, okay. Yeah, okay, that's all the corny jokes out of the way, folks. Um, now... <laughs> I don't know how I recover from that now. Okay, right, um, uh, battle's gone. Um, let's go over to do something sensible. Like, have a drink of tea while I'm considering. Or rather trying to find where my sloop is. Is that it? No, that's the wrong one. Good, time for another drink. found it. Okay. Do you know, I need to drink the rest of that before that goes cold. Can't be doing with cold tea. Right, bring these uh, out of here. Right, now, let's decide what I'm having from here. Definitely having these two. That's what I've raised them for. You see the sort of shooting they can do now with that shrapnel shot. Um, give them a load of infantry. And... Uh, a general and some horse. Uh, I'll give them a couple of these as well. Mortars. Okay. Um. Gotów na dalsze rozkratychniast. Now, uh, I think I also want to recruit in here. Yeah, I think that'll have to do. Just to defend the place. I don't know. No, it's not even built yet, is it? This place is at risk, I'm afraid. Um. Definitely going to have to put the ships in there to protect the place. But, anyhow, let's have a look at these in here for now. Uh, I thought I chose five. Maybe I had one in the port already, did I? Not too sure. Three... F no, that is five, isn't it? Yeah, I won't have had any in the port because I had the ships in the port to protect it, didn't I? So remember the rule, by the way. Um, your soldiers are on the last ship that are there. So if I'd have um, put them... If I'd have if I'd have embarked them first, um, and then um, moved these ships out, they would have still been on this one that I've left behind the sloop that I've left behind. Okay, but it's just the way I preferred to do it. Right. Okay. Well, let's get these swanning around the north coast of America. Uh, how far can we go anyway? Well, we can't get this far. I'm going to move them this far anyway. I don't know if this map's gone very, very dark or whether there's sunlight. But again, weirdly, in Yorkshire, in the middle of October, is streaming in through my back window. What on earth is going on? It's a beautiful day. It's extraordinary. Right, OK. Um, where am I? Are we even moving? I don't think... Where on earth is it? I don't think the ship's even moved. What happened then? Did I just ask it to go too far? I don't know. Try again. Right. Uh, is it moving this time? The 
This is getting a, a little bit laggy, actually, isn't it? You noticed? Where is it? Well, he's not in there anymore, so he must have moved. Where's he gone? I can't see my ship. Oh, he's there! <laughs> he's managed just to get there without me noticing. Right, okay, let's bring him um, around here. Eventually. Okay, uh, that's a shame actually, because I wanted to have a look at the. Oh, well, I can look at this. Right, okay. That is. Um, uh, oof. Oh no, he's got 11 in there. They, they never have any fortification. Beautiful thing about um, attacking Indian territories, by the way, is they, um, is they don't have any ships, which means that um, that the ports are never full. You, you rarely find they usually have fishing ports, and um, the fishing ports don't have any ships in, so you can walk straight into them which is great. Uh, he won't put troops in there because you can't embark troops in there because he doesn't got any war vessels. So um, uh, you, you find that they're very easy to attack really, the Indians, in that way. And they don't have any fortifications either, which means that you can, you know, sort of, you, know, you don't have to worry about walls to get over and stuff. So, And they rarely have any kind of artillery. Sometimes they do and that surprises me. I, know, I must drink this tea before it finally goes. You know, too cold. Okay, right, that's better. Okay, so I'm back filling Jamaica with uh, a couple of units there. There was one thing I noticed, and that was some Spanish on ships around here. There we go. I don't think they're actually on the ships. The um, Actually, I'm not too sure now. I think he might even be on those ships. Let's get my ships back into the harbour anyway. Uh... It's so hard to find these places. I'm going to have to set anchors for these islands in the Americas. Spending too much time fiddling about with these. Officer, okay. Put them into there. be interesting to see how it shows. I haven't noticed it before. If I put those into there... Yeah, he looks as though he's in a separate place, doesn't he? Just move him back to him again. But if you look at those Spanish ones... You see that? They're both in the same place, aren't they? They are on the boats, those. So he's going to be moving somewhere with that, what looks like a fairly large Spanish army. And it's not going to let me look at how many men he's got on there either. All I know is that he's got, well, I can see his navy, of course, 6th rates, 5th rates, etc. But I can't see what troops he's got on there. Uh, right, dockyard over here. I, I'm not even sure if I've got one, to be honest. Let's go and have another look, see if I have. No, it's not that one. Oh, darn, don't tell me I haven't got one over here. I could do really with um, some kind of a, uh, a dockyard over here where I can raise some decent ships. I have a feeling I haven't got one, you know. No. Oh, now I'm over in India. Let's go back again. I haven't got one, have I? Blast. So I haven't got anywhere I can raise any really, really good ships over there in the Americas. That is rather a shame. Um, but one thing I mustn't forget to do is attack here. Now what you don't want to do in a situation like this, you see how he's only got this? He's got no garrison troops whatsoever. If you pull away from here and then attack again, those garrison troops will appear. So the last thing I want to do now is bring those over there and join there and perhaps affect that attack in some way. I'm just going to go straight in. So I'm going in against the remnants of his army. Believe you me, that does happen. If you make that mistake, if you pull back from here, yeah, his full garrison will appear in there. There'll be something like 12 separate armies suddenly appearing, 12 separate units that will appear in there as well and you'll be fighting behind walls as well so it's just not worth messing around with it. I could have brought my artillery up to join this main army but look at the advantage I've got. It risked me breaking off that attack. It shouldn't do that but there are anomalies sometimes in this game and I'm just not going to take the risk. Anyway that's all he got out of that last battle so I'm just going to auto-resolve that one. Okay. Now I need to build up these. Before I decide what else I'm going to spend my money on I need to build these places up really. Okay, army I want to replenish. Uh, actually, I want these to replenish as well, and I want them to move into here. Good. Now they're on um, infrastructure. 
I am going to do this, you know, because this part here is also road. That now means I can filter troops from Europe over to Sweden if I wish to. Yeah, I don't need to rely now on... Uh, uh, well, I've still got to get past this bit, of course, so I do need control over this this bit of sea, of course, as well. But anyway, the main thing is I can feed troops in across to here now. I wonder what sort of... Uh, oh, surely I'm not going to need that, am I, now? Can't why well, I'd ever need any more universities. What's that there? Commercial port. I'm going to leave that the way it is. There's no trade going through it. Um, so all I'm ever going to get out of it is just a little bit of extra... Um, oh, hang on a minute. Might be... Yeah, I'll get a steam dry dock in there. I wonder if I can move a unit across to there. Can I spare some... I think I can, you know. I'll spare some... I don't really need these now in here. Because there's no threat from Denmark, is there? And the place is perfectly happy. It's green anyway. Oh, it's on 14. So that's fine. OK, so let's bring those over from there just to defend this new dockyard I'm going to be building. I don't know what this one is. Is this a global trading company? No, it's just a commercial base in that one. OK, I think... I'll, I'll just double-check this. Uh, in terms of all goods... Yeah, they're fine. We don't export from there anyway. We import from there. So we should be absolutely fine. Uh, I, unless trade starts to come through here, I'm not going to be concerned about that. It might well happen next turn that trade gets altered to come through there instead. It shouldn't do, though. Really, in order to get to Warsaw, it should continue to go on the route that it is taking, I would have thought. That seems to me to be the fastest route to get through. So, uh, I think this is such a major trade route, though. It's taking the whole of the northern trade um, that I am going to upgrade that. I know it's 10,000. Um, that's only taking me down to 14,000, so I'm just I'm just not worried about that at all. Let's have a look at Iceland, see what happened over there at the end of last turn. I think I started to replenish all my troops over here, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't. I didn't do any of them. Why didn't I replenish those troops? Oh, I don't remember now. Right, and what do I want here? Again, there's a risk. If I set up a trade port here, there's a chance he'll bypass this route and go here in order to come out again. What's this one now? It's a shipyard. Yeah, so he won't trade through there. But he might bypass and go through there, which means I'm going to end up with more ports than I need. I don't want them going through there and then coming out of there. Because it's another port then that I've got to look after and I've got to upgrade it as well. So I'm going to make this um, a fishery. Um, and what I want is really, I mean, to reenact the uh, what happens in Iceland. I mean, it's you know, it's a major fishing area, isn't it? I mean, it's probably whaling, isn't it? Going, I don't mean to be contentious, by the way, but <laughs> it's probably whaling that they're doing over there, isn't it? I'll tell you what, I don't know if there's a black market for it, but if um, anybody over there in Iceland can get me um, seal skin, I'd be very happy, please. Thank you very much. I'm quite prepared to pay for it. I want seal skin, um, but uh, I, I don't want a great deal of it. Uh, but in my period, in the 17th century, it was used as sandpaper seal skin, and I want some. Um, I want to use it as sandpaper, so it needs to be dried and sort of quite coarse in the way that it actually is, um, so I can demonstrate what people used in the 17th century to smooth things. So anyway, I'm just wondering about um, perhaps recruiting somebody in here so I can get this big army off here. I'm on a 10, but the army's giving it 20. If I took that army away, I'd be on a minus 20. Not good. Um, in fact, I could do with checking if there are any other buildings due. I don't think there are on here, you know. No, I think I checked that last turn, didn't I? Um, let's do this then. I wonder why it didn't show me about that before, actually. Hmm. No, I think maybe that port needs to have something in it. It's vulnerable, you see. If somebody just moves into there, then I'm in trouble. Uh, I think it's probably cheaper, you know, to keep a naval unit. Um, the upkeep costs for this are 96. Whereas if I put a, an infantry unit in to, um, uh, into the port, it's going to cost me 290. So I think I'm probably better off raising another sloop in here. Uh, now what's your... Well, that's only the fifth rate. Ah, oh, no, it's too much. 290, yeah, not, no good for a sixth rate either. Brig, Brig's 150, so it's still half the price of a foot regiment. But, oh, in fact, a sloop's the same in terms of upkeep. Is that... That is 150, isn't it? Yeah, I think it is. 
and that's 150. Yeah, it's which one I want really. I mean, that, that's 910 um, recruitment cost, and this one is 715. So this one, the, the brig will be will cost more. But having said that, it's a better it's a better ship, and I'm not too far away from Europe, so I, I'm going to have a brig. And the reason why I'm going to have a brig is I've already got a sloop up here as a troop carrier. I think it's a brig, isn't it? Uh, a sloop, sorry. Yep. So I'm going to have a brig in there. <coughs> so that means I've got some ships that can sort of defend the coastline a bit. I know only very small stuff, you know, literally small fry. But I, I think maybe we're going to start looking into some overseas trade soon. You know, getting some um, trade ships on the hubs. But uh, we'll have to think about that a bit later. Okay, well, I think that's probably it for now for this video. I'm only up to 36. I've been doing hour-long videos. But uh, unfortunately, I've got to go and buy something from a shop today. So I'm going to have to be out of the house for a while. So um, I think I'm going to have to leave that there for now and then think about when I come back what I'm going to spend the other 7,302 zwati on. Um, got a good idea. I think there are some places in Britain that still need to be upgraded. Um, there are. Look at all these places. I can get all these. I can get a lot more money out of those. I don't think the decision is going to be too difficult. And in fact, we've got, I've got Catholic priests in both the places. I've got one over here as well. So we should gradually be Catholicising Britain as well. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned to you before, but John Denham uh, on Cooper's Hill. Yeah, I did. I know I've mentioned it. Let's read that poem. Just thinking about the, you know, the fall of Roman Catholicism in Britain and stuff and what happened there. I must read something about that, in fact. Uh, you know, an actual factual book could be quite interesting, but... Anyway, there you go. Um, thinking time for the next video, I think. Thanks for watching.